Hello everybody, Jason Logan here at the beautiful Copper Creek Golf Club north of Toronto for the unveil of SCORE Golf's top 59 public courses presented by Golf Town. A couple of things before we get to the list. First, I want to stress that this is public and resort courses only. And secondly, why 59? Well, 59 is golf's magical number and it's a more interesting number than 50. This is the first of four videos we're going to do for the countdown and if you need a refresher on how we go about ranking courses you can find that on scoregolf.com we put together a nice explanation video so without further ado let's get to the first of four videos starting with course number 59 at number 59 is the south course at the club at bondhead a faux links on sprawling land between toronto and barry this track is big and broad with hallmarks of the old world game it's one of club links daily fee facilities Built as a course in nature, Vancouver Island Story Creek is just that, with twisting fairways through wooded terrain at an excellent price. Its finishing trio of holes is fantastic. A Reese Jones creation, Grand Niagara is a well-manicured course with rolling fairways lined by wispy fescue near the Welland River. A three-hole dip into a forested area creates a nice contrast. Gallagher's Canyon is known for offering stunning vistas of Kelowna as you play along a canyon's edge. Ponderosa Pines line billowing fairways on this popular Bill Robinson design. Designed by Wayne Carlton, Talking Rock takes full advantage of a beautiful parcel of forested land adjacent to Little Shuswap Lake, on which the final hole resides. It is one of Canada's top hidden gems. Bear Mountain's mountain course is adventure golf with extreme elevation changes and a great finishing stretch. The highlight here is the cliff top par 3 14th hole overlooking Victoria Harbour in the distance. Playing through a boreal forest on the shores of Waskasu Lake in Saskatchewan's Prince Albert National Park, Waskasu is a pretty course with rumpled fairways and funky holes. In BC wine country, Fairview Mountain delights the palates of golfers who play there. Its rolling terrain through a desert mountain landscape offers orchard views throughout, while its putting surfaces are sparkling. Tom McBroom's The Links of Brunello outside Halifax has some truly breathtaking tee shots and several excellent holes that utilize the architect's trademark exposed rock look. Calgary's Heritage Point continues to offer a top-notch public golf experience, with its Ron Garl design holding up very well. The Linksy Desert 9 and Valley Point 9 make for a nice combination. Amid the Alberta Rockies, Silvertip is as dramatic a golf course as there is in this country, with the Three Sisters mountain peaks towering high above you as you play. Overshadowed by newer Muskoka, Ontario courses, Deerhurst Highlands remains a solid layout with some very intriguing holes. Bob Cup and Thomas McBroom collaborated on the design. Le Diable is one of several solid courses in Quebec's popular Mont Tremblant area. Designed by Michael Hertzson and Dana Fry, its trademarks are its red sand bunkers and large greens. The oldest course in the BC mountain hotspot of Whistler moves up 13 spots after just cracking the top 59 for the first time in 2019. It was designed by the late Arnold Palmer. So that was the first 14 courses on the list. Our next three videos will comprise 15 courses each until we get down to number one. And if you want more details, including the scores our panelists gave to each course, make sure to go to scoregolf.com.